Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup, Part 8, and it's time for Round 7 of my rookie season in the Modified Championship. We're going to Richmond this time for the Bell Tower 150, so let's go. The Richmond International Raceway would like to welcome you to tonight's running of the Bell Tower 150. EA Sports brings you racing action this evening from one of the oldest and most storied racing venues in all of NASCAR. Tonight's NASCAR Featherlight Modified Series drivers are looking to make a fast start on their way to the checkered flag and a chance at racing glory. So don't miss a minute of the action. Race time is almost here. Tonight's events are just about to get underway. Okay. All right, so starting eighth here at Richmond. Decent qualifying run, although I'm starting on the outside and the game's also starting me a gear higher than I should have, which means shitty acceleration. Hooray. So, first things first here as we start a 37 lap race here around Richmond is to try to find my way onto the bottom, which I have successfully done after losing only one position. Some fuck how. And now we're getting a fucking colossal run down the front straight into turn one, going three wide for a double pass into seventh. Holy shit, alright. That had... That should not have worked at all, but there you go. Ugh, fuck. So, there's a good example of, uh... My biggest struggle with this track in this game, and that is entering turn three. Actually, that's my biggest struggle with this track in any game, actually is entering turn three. I don't know how to enter this turn correctly. Either I turn in too late and get gobs of understeer, or I turn in too soon and just fucking everything goes to shit. I don't know. I don't know how to enter turn three at Richmond, basically. Just fuck. Also, I'm doing really bad at turn one as well right now. Should probably uh calm myself down here a bit and get into some kind of rhythm here. Maybe start actually using my brakes. Oh, come on, maybe actually putting my car in the fucking bottom lane. That'd be nice as well. Nice and smooth, get that late apex out of turn two. For the most speed down the back straight. So I just continue to uh, share draft with George Dennis here in the 115. This guy's a rookie stripe too. It's interesting how, like, these are all fantasy drivers, but the game, like, EA decided to give some of these guys a rookie, st or, yeah, Tiburon, or whoever the fuck made this game, I can't even remember now, uh, gave these guys a rookie, some of these guys a rookie stripes, which is that yellow strip on the back of their cars. It's just NASCAR's way of saying, hey, this is this guy's first season in this series. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't, like, they don't apply that to the player. So, no rookie stripe on my car, unfortunately. Sadness Mountain. Actually, are there even any NASCAR games that do apply the, like, rookie stripe to the player car? I can't think of any. To be honest, like, yeah, like, yeah, man. I don't know. Also, don't. Well, actually, I do know what my chat's going on about. I'm trying to predict how many laps till death, and it's just devolved into memes. top front of the field is starting to pull away from me, but I've also pulled a gap on everyone behind me. I'm losing most of my time in turn three. Like I said, I just struggle so much with the second half of this track. It ain't even funny. No, oh, and finally lost a share draft with Dennis. It's fine. It's okay, that. Closing in on Terry Crews here. The Crews Mobile. For seventh position. Hooray, I'm now plus one from my starting spot. Hooray. 
Let's see if I can close in on the top six up here. We're kind of just breaking away. Breaking away from the pack. Into their own mini pack. <clears throat> yeah, 13 out of 37 fucking elite laps, bro. Remember Leet? Remember fucking, like, number text memes? Oi! We're good. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Didn't die. Rocky doesn't hate me, I hope. <laughs> We're fine. Holy shit, there's your near, near death. Tried to bring the car down because I went wide and, uh, well, Rocky decided to stick his nose there. I mean, you know, can't blame him, so... That was entirely my fault. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't think I'm finishing any higher than 7th now. Let's just calm down. Let's try to drive like a not-retard. And try to protect 7th position here. Fuck it, I'm going to bed. Rip taggy. Richmond. Oh, accidentally hit the black button, don't mind me. Fuck, accidentally hit the wall, mind me. I've got a pile of cars behind me, itching to get by. Ooh. Careful with that apron. I'm bringing up a bunch of dust, because... The aprons in this game are the dustiest fucking entities in all the universe. <clears throat> Just EA NASCAR things. Anyways... 20 laps complete, 17 to go, still just barely holding on to 7th position. As the front 6 continue to pull away from me. But can they make even crazier space dust? No, unfortunately they can't. Oh, I'm smacking the wall. Carried way too much speed through one and two that time. Alright, well, back to where I started. Literally. Eighth position. P8. Ooh. Isn't that Rocky in Old Spice Car? Looking low. Like, apron low. Come on, Chair Draft, help me out here. God, don't make the same mistake twice. I somehow avoided making the same mistake twice. Oh boy. Immigration test drive, you did a heckin' edit. It was Rocky, okay. Hey, you know how I said I should probably stay on the bottom at all times? Meanwhile, guess what I'm doing? Not that. Fuck me. Maybe Paradise Episodes every day, maybe. I demand three uploads a day, Teth Drive. I don't know. I don't know where I got the number three, just don't mind me and my stupidity. Just trying to hold off the, these hungry, hungry hippos and failing to do so. Oh, shit, I'm fucked. Alright. Time for the freight train. So there's nothing I can do about this. Alright. And just like that, I dropped four more places. Single player brown is fun, but not great. I would like to... 
let you know that you're wrong. <laughs> Burnout single player is awesome. I know opinions, preferences, blah blah blah, but still. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever played, done any like online or any multiplayer session of Burnout in anything ever. I'm okay with that. Well, I guess no, that's that's wrong because I did do some some multiplayer in a uh, most one of 2012. So I have played one burnout game multiplayer at one point so you know there's that ah, fuck come on yeah there we go pinch him down or pinch him prevent him from putting his car underneath mine and then I fail miserably alright cool and then he goes super slow down the back straight fuck me Progression. I like progression. Just like progressive insurance, except I'm not sponsored by progressive, never mind. Anyways, yep. Sneaking on the inside, try to gain a couple of these spots back, or I can just fucking die. If I can survive the entry into turn three and just fucking gas it out of the initial entry, might be able to get some kind of run, but <laughs> good luck me doing that consistently. Oh. And that's precisely why. I have to slow down a lot for turn three entry. Anyways, there's two laps to go here, Richmond. Um, see if I can hold on to this 12th place. Also, you know how my top 10 streak somehow miraculously didn't die at both Levi and Martinsville? Well, unless some act of God happens here, uh, it's dying tonight. Oh, fuck, here at Richmond. I don't know how I didn't spin the car there. So I just casually drive my way into 11th, alright. Oh, here we go. It's happening. It's fucking happening again, except I don't have the grip. So it's not happening, and there we go. My first non-top 10 finish of the career. 11th place. That's, uh, I almost said Sebring for some reason. Fucking Richmond. I don't know why Sebring came to my head, other than, you know, it's a month away from the 12 hour, which I'm hyped for, but still. So, there we go. That was Richmond. That was a, that was a decent race. I made some mistakes. All on my own, but it's fine. Also, our streak of, uh, pole sitter leading every lap and winning has ended at four, because Kennedy started fifth and only led all but four laps. Still won by 1.6 seconds, though. Hooray. Myers ended up finishing fifth. Who was the other guy that was, took second in points? I think it was Foster. He actually started on pole, led four laps, finished sixth. And then here I am down to 11th. And I think all 22 cars finished this race. Yes, they did. Sweet. There we go. Made a nice four grand out of that race. Who oh boy. Who oh boy. Uh, yeah, we get the disappointed cutscene because I finished outside the top ten. Aw, oh, man. Sadness Mountain. I'm happy with 11th, though, so. Top half of the field still. Oh, shit, it's happening. What's going on, man? You seem to be raising some eyebrows out there. Old Ace has lined up a test session for you with the Craftsman Truck Team. This is your ticket, buddy, so go to the calendar in the season info. You can find out when it is. Here we go. It's happening. I got an offer to test a truck to move up to the next series. So, um, 
We'll save that for the next segment, beginning of the next segment. For now, let's check the updated point standings, and I'm no longer in the points lead. So now Travis Foster is the new points leader of the modified uh, champion trip. With a four-point advantage over myself, with George Myers in third, just eight points back. So, a really good three-way fight for the points lead here. I actually quite like that. But, there we go. So, that'll conclude this segment. And, hey, I've started ranking up in fans. I'm now in the top 200. Oh, shit. But, yeah, anyways. So, uh, with that, stay tuned for when I do the truck test and whatever the fuck I do in the next segment in NASCAR 05. Stay tuned.